morning guys, I'm Abby Ryans behind the camera. Welcome back to Lost Among Locals. We are still in beautiful Romania and today we are in the town of Sibiu. a lot about CBU. Um, we haven't done a lot here. We've been working and eating. That's about it. So, but today CBU is in Transylvania, which so is Brashov and there's like three districts in Transylvania. So we are going to go rent a scooter today and go out and see some of the older villages, some of the really small villages out in the mountains because um, this whole area is just wrapped in the beautiful Carpathian Mountains. So we're going to go see a few villages, an open air museum, and see what other kind of crazy stuff we can find. So our plan was to rent an e-bike today, and that was going to be like $30 a person. And then we found this My Scooters place, it was like $17 for a scooter, so way better deal. Is it cheese not beer? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cheese not beer. No problem. No problem. Perfect. Sounds good. Did you get that? Got that. <laughs> We've never had an electric one before. No, we haven't. We've always done the gas ones. Look at us being green. Yeah. So red seems to be our scooter color. We're going with red again. So scooter apple pie it is again. <laughs> Good start. Well, I think I'm going to cut off the plastic. <laughs> that car on what plastic? Oh, it's like a rubber mat. All right, you ready, buddy? And we're off. But this scooter is so quiet. Like, it doesn't make any noise. So you, like, don't know if you're going or if you're doing it right. Or, like, there's no room, room. Like, it just goes on the so the only bad thing about the electric scooter is that we got to pedal to the metal and we're going a whopping 48 kilometers an hour. That is top speed in the highest gear. So um, we can't we can't even go the speed limit. <laughs> Somebody's watching me. We have stopped here at a little restaurant because we are starving. It's called La Folie Pizza and More. Um, because when you can't read the language and you aren't feeling adventurous today, pizza is always a safe bet. We had to stop for a shopping break because there was a ridiculously cute dress in the door, which I ended up getting in a different color because backpacker travel and you need things that are versatile. So I got the black and white one instead. So how much does a black and white summer cutout dress that could be day or evening cost in this little town? Almost $20. Really cute little town, but the port was closed that was here. So we pretty much just had some lemonade and some pizza and bought a new dress from a friendly lady who gave us some tips and had a super cute little store. And now we're off to the next place. We've made it to our next village, Cincinnati Yadara. <laughs> I'm sure I butchered that completely, but it's the next town over from where we were. Um, there's a fortress on top of a hill that you have to pay for. It's about eight lei per person, so it's about 16. Um, along the trek up to this fortress, there's little QR codes that you can scan with your phones, and there's English speaking also that will give you information about what you're seeing, about the hill, and just some, uh, some little facts. The road sign for this says Cesara Fortificata. We had no idea it was like a like an organized thing. But yeah, QR codes and everything. 
costs about four bucks for two people. There's the little town we came from while ago. It didn't come very far. You okay down there? I catch my breath. <laughs> Stairs are brutal. So one thing that was, that's very interesting is in the 1200s when this was built, it was built of stone and a big massive structure. It had been really impressive because people in the, that time frame around here were still living in those kind of a wood thatch type houses. So this is like the biggest structure and the biggest stone structure around. Alright guys, so this fortification and basilica was a 13th century building and it was used as a pilgrimage site for Christians. So there were monks that lived up here, um, Gregorian, and over the years it was destroyed a ton by different wars and conflicts in the Transylvania area. A lot of this area of Sibiu and the villages around were actually founded by Saxon tribes from Germany originally. So there's a lot of German influence here. And in fact, one of the things that is still left within this church or that was brought in later um, are all these little tombstones and they're actually German soldiers that died in World War I in one of the battles in the area. So um, they all died in 1916 in a battle close by. So. Anyway, that's pretty much all that's left of the interior. All the paintings and things like that have not survived, so it's kind of a shell at this point, but it would have been really, really beautiful, I imagine. Okay, now this is an adorable village. Like, oh my goodness. This town is adorable. Agreed. Alright guys, we are here at Museo Astra and it's just outside the town of CBU. It is the largest open air museum in all of Europe and the most important cultural and ethnographic institution, at least in Transylvania, but maybe in all of Romania. So we just entered, don't know what's here so far, but it already looks pretty awesome. A whole bunch of little traditional houses.
So basically what they did is they went and gathered traditional homes. A lot of them are from ethnic minorities, but not all of them. And sorry, there's a bug in my face. But they're gathered from all over the counties of Romania and brought to this place. So like this one is a blacksmith from Mamoras County. So yeah, and they all have like a label of where they came from and they don't have a date, but interesting. This one, I'm pretty sure they like. I'm pretty sure it's like the gate to Kattegat. I love the big gates to nowhere. Says it's a water driven hammer, like the water wheel outside. Made it lift up and go boom, I guess. Meow, meow. Fancy. What is that? It's a catapult. Oh, they're for the well. Now I get it. is the creepy vampire woods, Transylvania. That path looks creepy and probably beautiful. Back safe and sound. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It is, it is smoother than the gas ones, like it takes off smoother. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's very nice. Uh, you can talk. Charlie. Yeah, you can talk. It's not so loud. It's true. It's true. Yeah, it's true. We can. We, the other ones. we just we scream at each other. We scream at each other all the time. And this one, we just kind of yeah, have a conversation. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, guys. Well, we wrapped up our scooter time and our little road trip. And we made it back to my scooter. That guy is the nicest. I guess person that we've dealt with when it comes to scooters like he was very flexible so we paid for three hours plus an extra battery uh, but when we were trying to bring it back he was outside the city and said not to worry about it and that we could just take it to our apartment until he gets in time he had he had to work so we ended up keeping it a little bit longer than that until he was actually let us know hey i'm actually back in town now now you can bring it so then we brought it back ended up being an extra three hours of us exploring on it waiting for him to uh come back to us and, and tell us he was in town again super nice guy uh he also pointed lots of places on the map for us to go to he he gave us another thing to do he likes to go paragliding he's like hey you want to go paragliding tomorrow or next day and i'm like <laughs> We would, but we got to go to a different sound. So I don't know, he just was super nice and just, I don't know, it made everything real smooth. He could have really been a jerk about it. I mean, we paid for three hours. We ended up having the bike for six. He could have charged us for all of it and we gladly would have paid it. But he was like, nope, 
nope, I was busy today. I didn't have time to come back into town. So glad you got to use it. Have a great night. <laughs> okay, awesome.